Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt. This is Dwyer Creatives and today we are going to go over what's in my camera bag. Kind of. So I'm going to do this in two parts. The first one's going to be like my EDC bag, what I carry around currently, and you'll see that a few pieces rotate out of it. The second one is going to be my camera backpack. And even with that, it's going to be a little bit different because I do change a few things out of there. So let's just go ahead and dive into this. Let's start off with the bag. This is a sling bag made by Alpaca Gear and it is their Go Sling Mini Black in VX21. This is the first generation. They did just release a newer one. So the reason that I chose this bag is I had a few requirements for it. I wanted something small, compact, durable, and relatively water resistant. And I was looking for it to hold basically in the bare minimal of what I would be carrying that I didn't carry in my pockets and hence the go mini this is made of x pack and it is the vx21 and i like the aesthetics of that it is a little loud but i do like the aesthetic of it and it is durable and resistant has held up great and i've been carrying this five six days a week since i've gotten it and i've had it for a few months now the other thing that i wanted was something that's relatively weather resistant this has the ykk waterproof zippers on it super smooth easy to use and the reason i wanted that is because the cameras that i've been currently carrying around are not waterproof or water resistant so i wanted something where i could throw in the bag and ha not have to worry too much about it all right so let's get into the bag a little bit now it is a sling bag and it does detach it uses magnetic fed locks for that one thing i don't like though is how these that i have them all really extended so it fits me well is that when i do shorten it it does ride back up to it let's dive into the pockets now so you have a front pocket your main pocket and then your back pocket they all have those ykk water resistant zippers let me go ahead and flip this around we're going to start on the back so this is going to be facing your body move this up a little bit nice little knife there i have a lens wipe if you carry camera stuff or even if I have glasses, always good to have. Just pick this up. Came with the uh, Osmos Pocket 3. Now this, you know what it is. It is a lockpick set. Really small one. Compact. I like to uh, play around with this in my free time. If you have any locks, I like to just tinker with it. So that's something that I carry. In my bag, I have a wooden spoon and a pair of chopsticks. Now if you know what these are, you know what they are. And they are made out of G21, so they are not metallic good to have utensils on you if you need to eat don't have any on hand i have a pair of civi tweezers these are very useful and have come in hand a few times especially when i was working in a fab shop those metal splinters are nothing to mess with this is made by benchmade it is their bug out uh, backup knife just in case i forget one it's always good to have a knife on hand the last thing i have in here it's going to be a lock so the reason I carry this is I ever need to lock something up and I'm out and you don't have a lock, you have that. Sometimes use this for my room box, so this is sometimes in the back of my truck. But also I use this because I have a metal protected netting that I use for my bags if I have to leave them in the truck, which I rarely do, but sometimes you just gotta do it. And this will lock everything in a metal netting and then it locks to something within my truck so you can't pull it out. Good to have, never know. Next, we'll go to that front pocket here. In here. In here, I have a multi-tool with a lanyard and a bead. Now, I always try to carry a multi-tool with me. You'll never know if you need these. This is the Leatherman Squirt PS4, and I've had this forever. I believe one of my family members gave it to me, and it's basically either lived in my pocket or my bag. Use it all the time. Super useful. Definitely recommend you pick one up if you don't have one. I don't think they make these anymore, so you might have to look for a variant. Pen. Sharpie. I usually carry both a blue and a black pen. The reason I do blue is if you ever sign documents, you know it is a copy that shows up black. So here, one thing you can do with this bag also, keychain pops right off. I have a Olight. This is the Mini 2. Really useful. I have another one on my keys. Pop it out. Magnetic. Back on. Good to go. I also carry in here a few little small zip ties. You never know if you'll need them. For me, something I carry is a contact case with a little solution in them. I wear contacts and you never know if you'll need these if your contacts rip. Get something in your eye, just need to take them out. 
always good to have them on hand. Something that I always carry with me. And that's it for that pocket. All right, now on to the main compartment. So here's where it's gonna vary a little bit. And I'll show you what I mean just in minutes. Main compartment, good size. My EDC camera currently is this. It is the Fujifilm X100V. And if you guys are interested in it, I can give a quick review. Just let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to do. Uh, anchor battery, mag safe. Drink packet, you gotta stay hydrated. Sometimes I keep these in here. I have a little pouch. This is also made by Alpaca and it is their hub pouch hook and loop. So you can see here, throw on your favorite patch and you're good to go. So in here, currently carry just a few little tools. Got a few little bits, small little ratchet. So I do have this uh, Warwick screwdriver and it was modified by EDC Outlaw. So you can carry both a Phillips and a flathead, keep one in the back. Super short, nice to have, you never know if you'll need it. So as I was saying, this isn't always my exact carry. I'm gonna use this to represent it, but the DJI Osmos Pocket 3, I'll fit this in this case. Bring the microphone, which is the DJI mic too. And of course the little tripod base so I can set it up where I need to. This will fit in there if I'm not carrying my camera. And that's what I'm pretty much carrying right now as my EDC and my sling as a content creator. Now, other thing is I'll bring a pair of headphones. I am thinking about upgrading to Apple Pod Pro. So if you're using those, let me know how you think they are. Um, I've had these Skull Candies forever now. They work great, but I think it's finally time to swap those out. This is the core kit that I carry with me as a content creator on a daily basis. I try to do this as a minimalist, just a minimal amount of equipment that I will need. And of course, you know, if I need more stuff, I'm going to go to my bigger setup with my actual camera bag. And that will be an upcoming video. So if you're interested in that, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like. And then in the comments below, let me know if this is a setup that you would use on a daily basis. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.